Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Colby. Just a quick update for you here. I noticed over the weekend, a lot of chatter on social media, and a lot of people with this right here, the Gen 1 dish, are having issues with their connection. They woke up maybe Saturday morning or Sunday morning and their connection was offline after a software update. So today's video, I'm gonna explain what happened and what you can do to fix that and let you know all the details. So if you're affected, you can get your internet back up and working with your Gen 1 dish here. So basically what happened is I, I noticed, oh, probably Friday or so, starting to look at all the various Sterling communities and saw a ton of posts about people with Gen 1 units suddenly going offline. And you know, these were sold in early 2021. So if, if you have one of these, you've been running for years without an issue. So uh, let me just read a couple of these for you. Um, this person said, that their Nighthawk router just suddenly stopped working. Um, haven't had a single issue with it, with it for well over a year. Uh, the other day, it just says connected without internet. They can't get a connection to work. And a lot of the comments and posts similar to that, people saying uh, a lot of us using third-party routers have had the same issue since a recent firmware update. And so I, I'm looking at it on Facebook and Reddit, and a lot of these are very similar reports. So it's people with the Gen 1 dish like this using a third-party router such as this one. Now, if you're not familiar with the Gen 1 dish, it has the dish itself and then a separate power supply, which is this thing right here. And to the power supply, you connect your router on the white side, the dish is connected on the black side. So because of this design, you actually don't have to use the Starlink router if you don't want to. So if you're gonna use your own third-party router, you can just toss the Gen 1 router, the Starlink router, you know, toss it away or put it in storage or whatever, connect your router right up to the power brick. And so that's what a lot of people did because Gen 1 doesn't actually have bypass mode because you can just unplug the, the Starlink router if you don't want to use it. So the issue seems to be isolated to those Gen 1 users who are using a third party router in this configuration with the Gen 1 dish. Now, Starlink hasn't said anything about this issue. They haven't come out and confirmed it or anything, but from all the social media reports, it's pretty clear that, that we've got a consensus on, on what the issue is, and which is that some third-party routers, apparently the, the a firmware update has broken the compatibility with those routers. So it's not gonna be everybody, but if you are running a Gen 1 system like this, and you've got a third-party router hooked up and suddenly you're offline, you can't get connected, this is probably why. Um, Apparently a firmware update, um, you can check our our blog to see the list of firmware updates. I don't remember it off the top of my head. There were several of them though, late last week and over the weekend. And many of those appeared to have broken compatibility with third party routers with the Gen 1 dish. So somebody, uh, somebody else posted online on Reddit that they've got a contact that works within Starlink. So they're aware of the issue and that they're working on a firmware update fix for it. That, as of this morning, as of Monday, actually it's Monday afternoon now, as of Monday afternoon, that has not been fixed yet. The issue is still ongoing. So if you are dealing with this issue, you've got to keep waiting for that, that fix, or you can do a workaround. So if you still have your original Gen 1 router, what you can do to fix this issue is go back and connect the Starlink Gen 1 router. So instead of your third party router, plug your Gen 1 router back in. And if you, you can use it like this and it will probably work according to all the posts that I've seen that people that have tried this workaround. So you can use the Gen 1 router as your Wi-Fi, or if you can want to continue using your third party router, all you have to do from here is plug in the third party router into the aux port on the back of the Gen 1 router. So that'll give you your third party router, uh, that'll restore internet access to your router and you can continue using your network as you were before. The only difference is now you have this Gen 1 router Wi-Fi online. And that's again, just temporarily until Starlink can fix the firmware and release another update to fix this issue for Gen 1 users. So just wanted to give you a quick rundown on that because I know a lot of you probably woke up over the weekend with issues with your dish so if you submitted a support ticket, you know, and you're waiting on a reply, just to let you know, this is probably what the issue is. Starlink will probably have that fixed 
here within the next couple of days via a software update. And again, you can do this workaround if you still have your Gen 1 router. If not, you might be out of luck. You might be waiting for a while. Uh, that was it for this video. Just want to let you guys know, give you a quick heads up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you never miss any of these separate videos. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.